Well, ooh, we junkyard crew, man. We got another beautiful day upon us, man, in, in lovely Colorado. Um, and we're actually going to be using the trailer today. We got a pickup to make already. So uh, we'll see what we got to snatch up. I'm going to throw some of this old shit out on my way. But uh, we got something funky coming to the yard. Um, we'll see how the, uh, the trailer does with something on the back of it. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get right into it. I'm about to connect the truck and we're about to get into traffic. Um, let me see what number. This will be the fourth one of this type of vehicle that I purchased. And uh, man, I got a pretty cool deal on it. Um, and we'll see what we're going to do with it once we get it to the yard. But uh, let me hurry up, chain this thing up, make sure we got everything hooked up correctly. And uh, we'll go from there. Well, junkyard crew, man, here it is. I was riding around with this thing on the back of the truck all day. But we have a 1980 El Camino Conquista, man. So this thing's a pretty solid car. You know, just a little bit of surface rust. Nothing too wild. But man, the Elko needed a rear end. I got one, but fuck, I just fuck around and bought a whole car. Uh, because um, anything that I am missing will be able to come off of this car now. So we're going to get everything we need for this Elko off of this Elko. And we're going to sell this thing, man. Jeez Louise, what y'all think? Show y'all what it look like under here. So it's a, it's a nice and clean car. Ain't no rust or nothing crazy uh, going on with this one. So, and it was a pretty solid, uh, price man i paid a fair price i didn't pay nothing bonkers for it and buddy was in the middle of an ls swap let's see if i can get this damn thing open yeah, well there we go um, but this thing, he was in the middle of a LS swap. He actually put a, a TBI motor in this thing and transmission. So this came out of a Silverado. Um, but you know me, I'm going to be taking this right out. Um, and I'm going to sell the car as a roller, take what I need, and then I'm going to sell the motor and transmission. Um, so really, we bought this thing to flip just to make a whole car out of. Um, shit, nothing too crazy. Let me get this head down. But it's definitely, uh, it makes somebody a good uh, project car or a parts car, kind of whatever they want to do with it. So nothing too wild, no crazy dents. I got to get this top covered up. They was in the middle of putting the roof in this damn thing. So shit, I might patch it up, play around with it or something, but we'll see. Um, but I definitely need to get it covered up, mess up the uh, interior side. So I'll show y'all that next. Let me get down from up here. Yeah. But junkyard crew man, what y'all think? We can make a couple bucks on this thing. The trailer already coming in handy doing this job. Perfect investment for the year. So it's March. And this is gonna be our third flipper. See ya. We'll try to get it out of here by the end of the month. Nothing crazy, man. So yeah, no, no bench seat. I don't know where that's at, but everything else is pretty solid on the car. Um the dash looks good. Um, you know that shit. It was a stick shift car originally, so it does have that hole in the middle. Um, but yeah, man, they, they was trying to do their thing with this. This Elko roof will match that Elko roof. Hmm. But for the most part, man, I bought it. Everything was here. Um, you can make money off both ends. So it wasn't too crazy, but man, uh, y'all know 2024 is going real goddamn good, I'm going to say. But we're gonna make some money off this Elko. We're gonna take whatever we need off of it, put it on on the damn 78. And man, we in the game. She's Louise. Shh, get out the rain then. So yeah, junkyard crew, man, if it, it's supposed to get a big ass snowstorm, so we're gonna see what, what, uh, what happens and go from there. But this is the pickup. A little Elko, man. We'll get ready to knock this thing down. We'll get the red one back in traffic. After this snow, we'll get this damn thing unloaded. But the trailer hauled real good. I didn't have no beef with it. Um, I'm actually real happy with how the trailer did. So that's always a plus. It's already coming in handy. Um, 
and the El Camino wasn't looking. We got a lot of thumbs up on the way and, and some old stuff, but we'll get these uh, crusty ass, old ass rims off there. I'm gonna put them Camaro stocks uh, probably all the way around, um, just so that way I could roll it off the trailer pretty smooth. And my bro did give me a winch, so he put me in the game right away. So brand new in the box. We'll check that thing out here in a minute too. Um, but yeah, man, y'all know how we come in. Colorado got whips. Um, this is the fourth Elko I've purchased. Um, you know, this was my first Elko. I bought the 73 Elko I should have never sold. And then the 84 SS I sold. So this is Elko number four. And it'll be three for sale. So y'all know El Camino is for sale, man. If you want this thing as a roller, come holler at me 2K. You can have it. You know, and that's a pretty good price, I'm going to say. Uh, compared to what El Camino's we got for sale. I'll probably throw a few of them in here and let y'all know what we're working with as far as prices, but whoo, um, I couldn't turn this thing down, man. I'm gonna be keeping this radiator too. That's a good one. So I'll be taking that. Um, we're kind of, we're just gonna be taking off whatever we need, putting the other stuff back on here, man, and we're gonna let this thing go. Um, but yeah, not bad for another flipper. March, we getting it in, man. We got some motion going on and we happy, so. Whew. One thing down, another thing up, and that's what we're just going to keep it going as. Um, but if I get anything else going, I will holler at you guys. Um, but shit, let me run in here, do my thing real quick. <sighs> Been on the road all day with this damn trailer. Um, and it is a Colorado car, clean title. Um, Buddy had this car for about 10 years. So he had it for a while. And uh, shit, I might try to find a bench sheet to throw in there too. So we'll see, man. But these G-Body parts... Uh, Shit, we in the game. They will be available. Let me know what you need. Um, we're on the hunt, man. And y'all know Colorado got whips. Elko, man. Elko, man. So it ain't nothing like this thing. But shh, we could get there. Well, whoever want to build it and get there, man. So y'all know Colorado folks is getting down on it, getting to it. We're going to keep bringing y'all some whips. We're going to keep uh, having motion. And we'll holler at y'all in a few. Well, Junkyard Crew, man, the storm is coming. But that's just a few of the Elkos, man. I just wanted to show y'all what we got in the area. And, uh, man, I feel my price is pretty fair on this thing. Um, for the most part, the Elkos that are for sale, if they good, they running, man, 7 k to get in the door. Um, and that's a minimum. Anything under 7 k it's going to be this one and that black one. And they're both about the same price. And this one's a little bit better. You ain't got to come pull it up out the dirt. So, uh, with that one being said, man, let's see what this snow does for us. Um, them Elkos was cool, though. So, you know, the Elko game's always a little bit higher, um, shit, than the rest of the whips. But, shit, you got to pay to play, man. And this is a fair, it, it's a fair Elko. And you put some, some money in and some time and some love in this shit, it'll be out here crushing in no time. Um, so, I'm pretty sure this thing will flip with no smoke. Um, We're going to put the... Little, little rims and stuff on there. That's probably about the only thing I'm going to do. I might mess with that roof for a second. But other than that, man, shit. We out on that note. Oh, man, it's getting cold, too. So let me run off in here and lay my ass down before we hit that clock. And, uh, whew, Colorado got whips and we out.